Dominique, ni canique, s'en allait tout simplement au Dieu, pauvre et chantant. What might be this smile? <laughs> Welcome, my devoted sheep. This is Brother Dominic. I'm happy to announce you that today our parish has reached 200 members, also called subscribers. Thanks to you. Without your help and your devotion, I could never reach this number in only three months. But this is only a milestone. A milestone on the way to a mega church. Your mega church. <laughs> your word and your recommendations. Well, in YouTube language, they call it shootouts. This will help our community to grow without a credit card and without a donation. Even without a financial interest of your devoted brother Dominic, because I live in a country where YouTube partnership is impossible. To celebrate this, I am going to tell you a very important story. A story of a man who went out to choose a religion for his children. And believe me, this is a true story, a story which can only happen in a multicultural society. To explain everything better for you, I use anonymous and morphed random faces. Let me introduce you to Ben. Ben never had thought about gold and religion before. With religion he had only to do on Christmas and he was really indifferent to any god or church. But now everything changed for Ben, because now he is father and must take care of his two small children. He has to reflect in which faith he has to educate his children or if he should train them without religion. How should he decide? His father, Rudy, is a Lutheran Protestant and he believes in angels. His mother, Ruth, is Jewish, so automatically Ben also is a Jew, because in the Jewish tradition the religion is inherited by the mother. Ruth never educated Ben in any religion, because she believes only in good food. Ben's sister, Ciara, is a shaman, a kind of natural religious medicine woman, and thinks that Ben's children are spiritually underserved. This is Ben's auntie. She is a very devoted religious Protestant Christian, and thinks that religious education is very important for children and always ask Ben if at least he prays with his children. No, Ben did not. Kader is Ben's father-in-law. He is a Muslim, but some details of his own religion are mysterious for him, so he can't explain why Christians and Jews can't go to heaven. Barbara is Ben's mother-in-law. She's a Catholic. 
Ben don't even really know what this means, but he knows that she's a wonderful grandma. Even when sometimes she calls her grandchildren my little pagans. Because the Muslim religion comes from the father's side, Leila, Ben's wife, is a Muslima. So Ben's question was quite easy. He wanted to know what are my children finally? Are they Muslim, Protestants, Jews, or really pagans? Or absolutely nothing from all of them? Do you have to search for God or does he reveal himself? Does God influence the choice of your profession or of your mate or your spouse? Does he exist at all? Ben couldn't explain why he winces always when he thinks only about God. He wants to know if his children would have a more fulfilled life with God or without God. The first person who Ben questioned about his search was his auntie. In questions of religion, Auntie goes with the majority principle and said, because you, Ben, are living in a society in which the Christianity is represented higher, you should choose Christian Christianity for your children. Not because she's a Christian, but the society in which the children will grow up is Christian. Ben agreed that was a good argument for a compromise. Ben himself is not predestinated to transfer a religion and his Muslim wife neither, because in Islam it's the father who decides to transmit the faith. And that's how I met Ben. He came to my office and asked me for my advice. And hear what I told to Ben. Dear Ben, Children are feeling exactly if the parents are standing behind what they want to teach them. If the children feel that you are not standing behind, that you don't identify yourself with what you want to teach, then they will feel lost. You should choose a way for your children where you yourself are standing behind, which yourself find right. Sure, we can baptize your children, but the inside of your child would not grow as a Christian without the help of the parents and wouldn't feel good. So Ben learned from me that he has to become himself a believer to transmit belief to his children. After this, Ben thought about an easier way to bring his children to a faith. There are confessional kindergartens with special educators who can bring religion nearer to his children than he as an unbeliever could do it. He first was invited to a Shabbat ceremony in a Jewish kindergarten. Ben was watching the educators teaching a ceremony to children who couldn't even speak correctly. Does these children even understand what they are doing there? One of the educators explained that in this group, with children from 2 to 5 years, the playfulness is such that the children would only copy what the adults are doing, but the real understanding comes only when children are beginning to become philosophical. When the children are beginning to think about the evolution. With this small children, the educators can only transmit the genesis of the Bible, because only at the age of six the children are going to the real school and are confronted with Darwin and the evolution. When Ben asked them what will happen, then in the first year of real school? The educator replied, I don't know, 
it's no more my age group. And this was the main problem of Ben. What will happen when the children are questioning the Genesis? Tomorrow I will continue and tell you day after day what were Ben's interests to find a faith for his children. In an apostolic, a Catholic, a shamanistic, a Methodist and a Baptist community, from a Trappist monk, from a yoga teacher, a Buddhistic Coventry, a Quran school, an old Germanic Celtic Druid, a Hindu temple, and even a meeting with the coroner who has to know all faith, not to make a mistake in the burial ceremonies of the different religions. Tell your friends about this serial and don't forget to rate this video. And if you are not yet a member of my parish, please subscribe. This was Brother Dominic. I see you tomorrow. Raymond.